Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I have a challenge for you for the Spreading the Spark Over 10 Years crop that we have going on at Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm on the design team, so I am ever so lucky to be able to host a challenge. So I'll tell you the challenge part because, yeah, it's just, that's just the fun fun. The challenge is to use two sequin mixes on one layout. That's it. So grab two of your favorite sequin mixes and pop it on a layout. And today I'm going to come in with Balloon Festival and Penguin Suit. And when you look at them, they don't look matchy matchy, right? We're going to make it work. When I saw them, I was like, hmm, what do I want to do? And it occurred to me that I'd like to play with some Vicky Booten products. So black always works with Vicky Booten. This has bright, nice pops of color. So we are going to find a way to incorporate them into my layout. Now the photo that I have, the photo I'm using is this is my husband right here. And this place right here is called the Motor City Brewing Works, which it's kind of cool. Like Detroit's gone through this massive amount of revitalization. And this, uh, the location where this, it's like a really cool, open, funky brew house kind of thing. It used to be in an area that was just quite frankly, not safe. And now it's been revitalized, it's gorgeous. We had one drink under this tent and there's gardens and it was just gorgeous. Oh, and by the way, this car purred like crazy when the, when the owner turned it on. Anyway, that has nothing to do with it, but this is the hubs walking in and I thought it was a rather cool pic to shoot. So I have that. Now, the next thing I did is I wanted to get some use out of my Vicky Booten ready to use mixed media pad paper. I've only done one layout from it and it is huge. So that would mean I have 35 more sheets. So I chose this one. And the reason why this caught my eye is Detroit is known as the Motor City. So this reminded me of wheels, like for reals, it did. So I like the idea of the wheels going this way. My husband's walking, so he has movement going in this way. So that's fun. Then what I thought is the hubs has black on, like black, black, right? So, well, I mean, actually he's wearing super dark charcoal, blacky, gray, whatever. Does not matter. So I thought I would grab this Vicky Booten sheet right here. This is called Inspired from Color Study Collection. And yes, I know this is gorgeous. It'll be okay. So what I thought I would do is gut this paper and trim this paper and do a nice little sewn edge around it to give it some texture and some dimension and some of that good, good. Now, next. Oh, but wait, there's more. This sequin mix right here has silver in it. So I think I'm going to come in with this discontinued product called Dazzlers and do a little stencil work on it as well. So I'm going to have the pre-made mixed media, the stencil going, sequins going, all kinds of good, good. So in the meantime, I'm going to map my photo a few times. It's not that fascinating, but I will be doing it with the color study paper pad. I have a six by eight, only used it a couple times. That needs some traction. And I'm also going to use some of the paper that I got from this black sheet. So I want to do that. When I map my photo, I'm going to do the sewing on this piece and this is like oh, it's so nice and sturdy it's so great then once i get that down i might also i haven't used this stamp yet might do a little bit of stamping before i do my dazzlers product and like i said they no longer sell this at shimmers paints so i'm on a quest to use it i don't know why like you know i want to use it up um, I'm going to go through my die cuts, see what will work for this, and I'll meet you guys back here in a jiffy. But once again, the whole challenge is use two different kinds of sequin packs on your one layout. Now, you do not have to use them all up. I mean, I get all excited when I actually use up a sequin pack, but you do not have to use them all up. Just use two different sets on one layout. Okay, I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, so check-in time. I have my photo down. But I want to show you what my background looks like. My photo's in place, and I did go ahead and stitch around the outside of my photo. It's, it's a technique I've been enjoying lately. 
So you can see here, I told you that I stitched around the photo, but then I added a bunch of mats from scraps and scuffed them all up with my scufferator, which is, you know, a tool. I do need to try to remember to scuff around the outside of my background. I need to remember to do that. So I have these great pieces, very dramatic title right here, works perfectly with this, you know, cause it's all Vicki Booten. I love these little tabby bits. I like things tucked here and there around my photo. So I think we're gonna try to put it here. Um, and I know it says right here and this here, but just go with it, just go with it. I love all the supplies and you know, we try not to leave any supplies out if at all possible just so fun so you know this photo my husband was walking in front of me and i wanted to kind of grab the vibe of the place it was like the perfect like 75 and sunny day and we're downtown and downtown's usually a lot warmer it just so happened that it was this light breeze and it was pleasant so you could be outside it was yeah perfect michigan day which does not happen all that often. So I have all of these supplies. I have the stamps, I've got the cardstock stickers, I have the sticker book, I have, except, you know what I don't have? I don't have the alphas. So I'm gonna continue to faff around, see what I can kind of stick under there, what catches my eye. Hopefully it'll have something to do with the layout, but it doesn't always have to. I do kind of struggle putting a llama holding maracas, eating a piece of pizza on things. But if it's whimsical enough, we can do it. So, what sequin mixes do you guys think you're gonna be pulling in? I mean, every time I have what I think is my favorite sequin mix, they come out with a new one, so it's very tricky. Now, the penguin suit one that I'm wearing is super, super versatile, though. I mean, I, I love sequin mixes that have predominantly one color because I can sneak them into all these other mixes. But this Uncle Sam 20, I'm sorry, that one's Balloon Festival. The Balloon Festival has pops of white, red, blue, and a little tiny bit of pink. So it works for Vicky Booten. I don't know. So I just contradicted myself. Pretty much I like all mixes that come my way. There you go. So I have this colorings and it is in the color Night Move. So it's a really nice flatter black, which, you know, obviously is gonna go with Vicky Boot and stuff. And I love to add splatty bits on top of, you know, like enamel dot spots or sequin bits or whatever. It adds all this extra interest and not that it adds texture, but it gives that texture vibe. So. Very cool. And and most of you know, if you've been with me for a while, that I, I do tend to love me some splatty bits. So here is a better close-up, of course. The Night Move splatty bits still have to dry, but you, you get to see what I'm saying with this one. There's my two sequin mixes, and now we're going to have a couple of close-ups. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys do with this challenge, and I will see you in the group. Bye for now, friends.